Oh, landmines and jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess, and I'm naked. And I'm in a suitcase in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm just going to make that your problem. But we're going to take a look at the aftermath and just kind of the comprehensive overall of the Gen Captain kit knife. If you haven't seen this before, this is a kit knife. And when you order this on Amazon, they ship you in a box, or they ship it to you in a box like this. And you crack it open. You got the knife disassembled with all the bits, the pieces, the dinguses you need to put it together. They even included the T6 and T8 Torx drivers and pivot lube. You got everything. And I, I will say, I like those uh, Torx drivers. Like, they are fantastic little Torx drivers. And if you take stuff apart and put it back together, you can never have enough of those. Ever. So, uh... I've done the assembly video on this. I did the video after carrying it for a week. Um, you know, and through that process, I thoroughly enjoyed everything about the knife. Um, I will have the Amazon link in the description of this video. I will have my discount code 10 knives IG, which gets you 10% off, which brings it down to about 27 bucks. But uh, we did a four and a half hour live stream on this thing. And before we get into that, let's take a look at this thing. So you got a flipper tab. The scales are G10. They're printed. I think they might be sublimated. Um, I've gone into that before, but with sublimation, the ink goes down into the surface pretty deep, so it makes it hard to scratch through it to get to the color underneath it. It makes it a quite durable print. Um, your pocket clip is tip up, which is the Lord's carry, and I love some of the flourishes they put on this thing, like the little star cutout right there. I just, I really like that. I do. I, I'd, I'd love it if more companies, you know, did stuff like this. Because, like, you buy a Kershaw, you buy a, a Civivi, you buy um, a CRKT, something like that. They get really plain pocket clips that don't have a lot of don't have a lot of flourishes on them. But uh, I will say with this pocket clip, the dingus end right here made it real easy to put it into and pull it back out of the waistband. There was good retention on it. Like, this pocket clip is set up really well. I know uh, Randy said something about the fact that these screws aren't recessed. I didn't personally have any problems with that, but I can see where, you know, it's not desirable. Um, the recessed screws are definitely better, but this didn't give me any problems whatsoever. Uh, let's flick the bean on this. Eh. Got a 3.5 inch D2 steel blade. And of course, you got your G10 scales and depending on the handle. Now the liners here, they're not, they're not milled out. There's no weight reduction on this, anything like that. So it's got, it's got the kind of weight that uh, you would expect out of a knife that hasn't had anything lightened on it. Um, it's, it's not super heavy. It is very reassuring in the hand. It feels really solid. Like I, I like the weight on this. Um, you know, lighter is better, but this is still a good weight. It's a good heft for it. And, you know, given that you're paying 27 to 30 bucks for this thing, it's really not a problem. Um, so... Like, this thing carried really well, and out of the box, it had one of the sharpest factory edges I have ever gotten on anything. Oh my god, this thing was sharp. You know, cutting through paper, no problems whatsoever, almost no resistance. Cutting through the plastic on pallets, pretty much no resistance. It even did better cutting the sideways, pla cutting the plastic sideways where it wasn't under that much tension. This did a better job than just about everything else I've carried. Like, this thing did fantastic out of the box. Now, going into Cardboard Slayer, one thing to note, the cardboard that we used for that is significantly more hardcore, hardcore cardboard, than the stuff we've been using. I finally ran out of my old Amazon boxes, and the stuff that they put, the, like the boxes they use at work to put stuff in for us to throw on the shelf, you know, from the manufacturer, oh my god, that stuff is so much more tough and difficult to cut. Like, it took so much work to get through a lot of those cuts. I was worried that that was going to prematurely wear the edge out, but it didn't. Um, I will say one thing. Um, the ergos on this were more than good enough. Like, they are definitely more than adequate for something like this. Um, of course, the contact points rubbed hot spots after, you know, a couple of hours. The big one for every folding knife that I do with an open back like this is where it rides right here while I'm cutting. This hot spots this out real bad. This took significantly longer than everything else that we've done to reach that point. Um, these edges are crowned over nicely. Um, these edges are broken down nicely, which is part of why in the waistband there was no rubbing and no digging, no hot spots. That's part of why it carried so well. So, you know, the ergos are definitely good enough. Um, about 15 minutes in, I noticed that the pivot was a little bit loose. There was some lock rock. 
I'm pretty sure that was me not tightening it down as far as it needed to be um, when I assembled it because I tightened it back down and for the next three hours basically, or the next four hours, pardon me, for the next four hours there's been no movement, no lock rock appeared, nothing like that. So that was me on the assembly, not, you know, the knife itself. But this thing, uh, it, it kept its edge through four hours of pushing through that stuff. And uh, the edge wear after that four hours was comparable to around two and a half-ish hours of the uh, CR, CR series steels that we've been doing. And the 8CR has really impressed me with how long it takes to really wear it out. And this thing took a lot longer to wear that much than everything else except for that $6 Timu knife. And we don't know what that steel is. Uh, we can't find the listing on Timu to find out, you know, what the specs are listed as. Nothing like that. We don't know what it is. It just lasted a long time. So, after the four-hour mark, we, uh, we, stopped the, we stopped the cardboard slaying part of the stream. And we just went to uh, stropping it up. And I spent more time on the strop with this than I spent with uh, everything else I've done so far. Especially after the last 8CR knife didn't take as much of an edge as I wanted it to off of the strop. And the strop brought it back to, let me get some paper. So the strop brought it back to, uh, it brought it back to the kind of factory edge that a lot of other knives, um, or it brought it up to something comparable to the factory edge on a lot of other knives I've gotten. Um, and the factory edge on, you know, more expensive knives. It's nowhere near as sharp as it came out of the box. Um, it did not sharpen up that much off of the strop, which between that and the durability of the edge, that's kind of indicative of the HRC, but even the newsprint right here, there's no resistance. It's like I'm cutting water. Um, it's, so the edge did strop up good, but it ain't like it was from the factory. And, uh, so that means we got a pretty good HRC on here. I don't know what the HRC is exactly, but this thing did so well on Cardboard Slayer. So, I mean, overall, for the whole thing, my opinion on this thing is really, really, really good, especially for what you're paying for it. Um, you know, even if it was already assembled and not a kit knife, if I got this thing, I'd still be very, very, very happy with it. Um, this thing did phenomenally well. Now... I got another email from Jin this morning. Um, they did see the videos. They saw my videos. They saw Randy's videos. And they had mentioned the, the thing that we had talked about with the holiday themes and stuff like that on these scales. If they're going to print them, they got a lot of options. And they said they're going to be doing stuff like that in the future. So I hope to see that. Um, they also offered to send me some of the G10 kits. And those G10 kits have a G10 blade instead of a steel so they're more safety blades, basically. If you want like your kid to get into knives and learn how to put this stuff together and how they work, that's a good option. I think it's also a good option for someone that's kind of averse to having something like this that's crazy sharp and uh, a little bit intimidating. It's like I know some knife people, they don't, or non-knife people, pardon, words are hard today. But I know some non-knife people that don't like the thought of something this sharp being carried around and used. They don't trust themselves with it. So, like, the G10 might be a good option to get them a little bit more comfortable, learn the safety, learn how to use them, all that. And I expect there to be some utility out of the G10 blades. Um, I've got one that my uncle had from way back in the day that looks like it's made out of FRN. And uh, he used to use that to get through Hartsfield because all they had was metal detectors back then. It was pre-9-11 by a lot of years. And uh, that thing is capable of doing some pretty hefty puncturing. It's not going to slice, but it punctured really well. And so you can do that, and it should be good for popping tape off of boxes. You know, that's where I'm seeing the prob probable utility, and I may carry it for that and see how it do. But they, they have themes on those. So one of the G10 kits is Christmas-themed. The other one is space-themed. So I asked for the space theme. And then the other G10 kit they're sending is just a solid color. So I went with purple. Uh, we'll make a... Uh, we will make eh, Tim happy with the uh, purple G10 kit. So, again, Jen, thank you guys so much. This has been an awesome experience. I had a lot of fun with this one. And, uh, you know, if you're looking at it and you're thinking about it, I recommend getting it. You know, it's up for you to decide whether or not I'm shilling. Um, all I can tell you from my point of view is if I recommended something that had huge problems around it being a piece of garbage, 
I would definitely feel terrible about it for a long time. You know, a lot of the guys that watch this channel have to pick and choose what we buy very carefully because we don't have we don't have a ton of money to throw around, basically. So we got to pick and choose what we're buying and see what the best budget bangers are. This is one hell of a budget banger. Like, you know, it, the knife by itself would be worth the money. Um, this is probably one of the better knives I've seen at the price point. And the kit and all the little uh, the little touches it comes with, um, that's just added value at that point. So that is kind of the overall long-term experience with everything that's happened with this thing. Very, very, very good opinion of it just as a whole. Um, I know other kits exist like this on Amazon. I've taken a look through them and none of them look this nice. You put them together and they look like Ozark Trail knives or something like that. So this one definitely stands out as at least... Looking at the listing, the best option for a knife kit that I've seen, um, and I know more expensive knife kits with nicer stuff exist elsewhere, but you know, at the price point, it is definitely the best looking one that I've seen. So yeah, it, again, if you're interested, go ahead and get it. You're not going to regret it. Just make sure your pivot screw is tighter. Drop a little bit of Loctite in there. And uh, yeah, I can't say much more about this that I haven't already said. So all that being said, thanks for looking at my crap. Uh, subscribers you guys are awesome you're still coming in we are getting closer and closer to that first thousand and that 1000 subscriber giveaway comments i love some feedback i know a few get a few of you guys have bought these so let me know what you think about it now that you've had it and put it together uh let me know what you think about the kit the knife itself the whole thing just watching these videos or anything else all that being said though y'all have a nice day